What's up, YouTube? This is your boy John from Project Ellsworth, and I am back with you today for another unboxing video. I've been sitting on this Michael Myers Toonie Terrors figure for a few months now. I got this in the mail from my good buddy Phil over at Phil's Creepy Vids. Uh, the day's finally come. I'm going to get him out of this box, and I am also going to try and utilize and do something with this, what do they call this, bonus backdrop display. Let's see how this turns out. So first and foremost, I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe as usual. All right, so what you'll need to do this, uh, for what I have in mind anyway, I haven't done this yet, and I'm hoping this, this uh, turns out pretty cool. All uh, right, so you'll obviously you need a Toonie Terror figure. doesn't matter which one you use. They all have their own unique uh, backdrop on the box that they come in. And what do they refer to this as? Bonus backdrop display. So it basically just tells you right there what this is for. So I'm going to use Michael Myers. And I actually have an old bookend that I don't use at all for anything. This is a little bit bent, but I think I should be able to pull this off with this bookend. The bookend, I believe, is going to be a slightly wider than the backdrop, but it, it's not going to make any difference. Um, if this turns out well, maybe I'll look for other bookends that aren't as wide. And you will also need a pair of scissors possibly a pair of uh, wire cutters, the scissors or the wire cutters. I'm not sure which one's gonna be better. I'm thinking the wire cutters may be better. And just a roll or a few pieces of double-sided tape. So first and foremost, you gotta get him out of the package. Try not to damage or tear that backboard, obviously. I may end up killing the audio in here a couple times just to not, uh, bother you guys with the noise of this plastic so bear with me all right so it came off a little bit rough on the front but that doesn't make a difference because the front is not what we are worried about here we're more concerned with the back so now you just grab your scissors and cut this thing out. You just cut along the dotted lines here. I'm hoping this turns out pretty cool. I, I've actually had, I've been thinking about this ever since I first saw these Toonie Terror figures. I was trying to think of a way to utilize this backdrop in a cool way rather than just put it up against the wall and poke holes in the wall with uh, push pins or thumbtacks, which I really didn't want to do. So doing this will, uh, this should work. I think that this, this is gonna work and work just fine. And I think it'll just be a cool little piece that I have in my collection down here. And that way it's just not, you know, another figure just standing here which can easily get lost among all the other stuff that's in this room. This will kind of make it stand out a little bit more, make it a little bit more pronounced in the, in the, uh, in the collection. So yeah, just cut along the dotted lines. Pretty self-explanatory. You don't need anybody to tell you that. But I figured I'd show you anyway. And I, you know, I thought that I'd put it together for you here just to show you actually how quick of a process it is and how simple of a process it is. So there you go, just that easy. I have the backboard out. Now, gotta get the main attraction out and get Mike out of his packaging here. And as usual, they have him strapped in there with a little piece of, uh, like a little wire tie. So bear with me if there's any noise. All right, and lastly is the part that I thought would be most noisy getting this pumpkin out of here. And it wasn't too bad. All right, so there's what the pumpkin looks like up close. 
This is really awesome. This is basically the pumpkin that was in Halloween too, at the very beginning, the opening credits of the movie, where you see the jack-o'-lantern all in one piece, and then it splits apart to um, reveal the pumpkin, that, or excuse me, the skull that's inside. And then you have Michael's typical weapon of choice, the kitchen knife, which is really neat. These Toonie Terror figures have always reminded me of Scooby-Doo characters. That's just what they've always looked like to me. No matter what, I think they always will look like that to me. That's just what I think of when I see these characters. There's another wave coming out soon, I believe, which is going to be, uh, uh, oh God, what did the dude from Hatchet? Victor Crowley, Reagan from The Exorcist, Sam from Trick or Treat, and Beetlejuice, if I'm not mistaken, are the next ones coming out. So I'm looking forward to getting them as well. I have all the other ones so far, with the exception of uh, The Bride of Chucky and Chucky. All right, so there is Michael Myers, knife in hand. All right, let's get this uh, backboard put together. All right, so now you just take your double-sided tape and you peel that off. You get an idea of how much of it you're gonna need. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it on here instead of on the um, bookend because this is a, the bookend is a little bit wider than this is. So I'm figuring that I should probably put it on here first. So then grab the wire cutters. And let's see. Yep. Wire cutters are the way to go. So yes, use wire cutters instead of scissors. It's easier. I think it's a better idea to put the tape on there first, then pull any of the other side of the tape off. That way you're not dealing with sticky tape while you're trying to maneuver around with this uh, backboard or backdrop or whatever you want to call it. I think this is going to turn out to be a pretty neat little idea. Very simple. I think these Toonie Terror figures are like $12 a piece, if I'm not mistaken. It's a pain in the neck, too. I couldn't find this Michael Myers figure anywhere to save my life. And then Phil sent me one. And then I received one as a gift from my wife. And now I see them all over the place. And uh, I see them in Target. I see them in FYE. I've seen them in uh, Walmart. I see them everywhere. Now that I have them, I see them everywhere. Of course, just that's just the way that this goes, I guess. All right, you don't have to be perfect because you're not going to see this. You just want to get, this is probably overkill. This is probably more tape than I need. But I would rather have too much tape on there than not enough tape on there. So after I get it on there, just make sure that it's nice and firm against that backboard. You don't want it bubbling off or peeling off or folding over. All right, so now that that's on there, just peel off the double-sided tape. Like so, nice and easy. I'm sure you can get this at any hardware store, arts and crafts store, anywhere like that. All right, so now the moment of truth. Yeah, see it is slightly, the bookend is slightly wider than this backdrop. All right, now it's on the bottom, just press down. I actually don't even need, I have a piece of double sided tape up at the top I don't even need now because I have it all down the sides. And that's it. Set the display down. Michael standing in front of the door. And his little jack o -lantern. That's it. Uh, pretty simple. So that's it. That's the unboxing of Toonie Terror Michael Myers uh, from Phase 2 of the Toonie Terror series by NECA. I think that that's a very simple project that turns out pretty cool. It's very easy. It takes to uh, no time whatsoever to do, and I think that the end result is just awesome. 
I'm telling you, these things look like Scooby-Doo characters to me. They're, they're, they're Scooby-Doo villains. They all look like that to me, especially the Jason Voorhees, if you've seen them. But I still, I still think they're really cool. Just a very cool addition to anybody's collection. They're pretty readily available. And if you can't find them in your local Target or Walmart, you can easily get them online, probably th directly through NECA or on Amazon, I'm sure. Uh, the next series is supposed to be out, I think, in either October or November. I know that they're available pre-order, uh, so I'm going to keep an eye out for them as well. I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Later, folks.